Welcome back to a look at version 1.8. Uh, this has been in the workings for a while and we've got a few good things to look at. Firstly is the uh, direct export now uh, out to a set of Corsa. Uh, I displayed this recently in a video so this is very much a, a recap. Um, basically it'll find where uh, you've got a set of Corsa installed and then just uh, apply your project name to the end of that and all you have to do is click OK. You can still export to FBX um, for the a set of Corsa's uh, KS editor if you wish to do so. Uh, for now I'm just going to click OK there and then then you will have found that it's created a folder now uh, Fuji and it's done some basics uh, there to get it up and running. Yeah, uh, you've got the main KN5 file, which is the piece of work that took the most to get running. Uh, we've got very basic fast lane and pit lanes there. Um, and there should be more work to do on that. Your textures all go uh, into the same folder as before. And then there's a little bit of UI and the the JSON is uh, created as well with a couple of your settings. So more to do on that, um, but it'll do for now. And hopefully um, that makes the process of getting games into AC easier. So then it's just a matter of finding your track. Um, our Fuji, there we go. And clicking on that, hitting the start button, and it should just load up. I didn't actually sit the, set the uh, pits in any particular place, uh, so we're a little bit off the track, but let's turn there, and yep, away we go. All done. Okay, the next feature that I'd like to show is the ability to import an FBX file. Previously, you'd have to go through XPacker, uh, XPacker and bring in the object and then use it. So now you can do it directly. And we've got a bunch of features uh, or properties here that you can then set. So if you want this to always be collidable when you first uh, add it to the scene, then you can um, start modifying these kind of properties. Um, and yeah, it's fairly basic. It's got some information in here. Sometimes uh, when you're importing objects from Blender, you have to scale by um, 0 0.01 um, to make it the size you want. So you could hit the scale there and it, it changes. You could also load an icon here. I won't do it for the moment, but then you've got some other properties and just some information. Um, click OK, and then we should have an imported here and the object. And if I click, yep, there it is, with some randomness thrown in. Uh, yeah, very basic object, but just demonstrating the point. The next little piece that I'd like to show off is the ability to add a track name. So there I've got one track. If I create a second track up there, it's got track one. Um, so you can override this and call them whatever you would like, and that will be part of your FBX export shortcut keys to allow you to switch these different modes. Uh, so if you press the, the one key, you're in terrain, which I already am. Uh, if two for tracks, three for objects, four for string objects, five for walls, six for start finishes. Uh, so you can just uh, press those. Now I have added in addition to that, if you press the tilde key, um, you then switch between these tools. So I'm just pressing tilde there to switch between those. I was thinking maybe and pressing the one key multiple times would switch that rather than going back to the tilde key. Tilde key works in all of them, but alternatively, I could say if you're in tracks and you press two again, um, then it would automatically go into the next tool for you. Um, but at the moment, it's tilde. The next little minor modification I made was to uh, be able to select these. Now you can just click these little buttons. You used to have to double click on there. It was a bit of a pain. These are also list boxes now, so you can more easily scroll up and down those using your, your wheel rather than having to select it um, in all areas. And uh, yeah, so that just makes it a, a little bit easier. 
Lastly, a couple of little uh, changes uh, to the RTB settings. Um, now sits under the edit menu, it was under file menu. Um, and the venue option here, these have changed in order slightly. I've put venue up the top there because I think it's more important. And venue has a couple of extra tabs on it now. We just had expansion packs and plugins before. Now we've got the objects, uh, which shows you all the objects that you've got. And you can click on each of these. You can select all of those. Um, and it gives you a bit of information about how many there are. Uh, under there so you can see I've got quite a few of the uh, older trees um, and the string objects and walls similarly um, you can get a little bit of information there um, about how many verts the lengths of them and you can also delete them from here as you could in objects if you wanted to select all of those objects and then delete um, you can't away they go um, and clicking on these um, actually takes you into that mode as well. So you, you can get to your wall, you can get to string objects. It's in that mode. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit helpful too. Uh, the Patreon page is up and running for anybody wishing to support or gain early access to the uh, latest beta version. It will be out for everybody eventually, uh, but I'm going to iron out the bugs first. And I'm hoping people who are super keen to uh, aid RTP development will um, help assist a little bit more than the, the previous beta. The previous beta took about six months to release, and I'd like to get this going a lot faster. So hopefully people who are more engaged with this uh, will be more proactive in giving good feedback. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your support.